that's all this should just be. And So, I'm going to doing a weird thing, but I do have a reason to kind of I brought the flimsy tools, but I'm going to basically sacrifice some resources and upgrade them if I get what I need. And I'm bringing very limited things Specifically, wait, you could you can eat the bunny day eggs? Yeah, you can always eat the bunny day eggs. No, I would infer that they are made of candy, but that means you're using them to craft furniture. Meaning, this dress is made of candy. Give me what I freaking need. You see, I put all that well, when you're going in it, it here wanting something. You need it to go to one of these islands not wanting anything, and only then the game's RNG will spit it out. Or Nintendo has stealthily removed that island from the game. And That's no, removing! And no one would know. That's removing key freaking features at that point. Well, there could be an island in its place that does the same thing, and it's just designed in a different way so that that Well, one... the one island is intentional to help you get rare tarantulas, which is why people call that tarantula island. The other island I'm looking for, with the bamboo on it, I haven't fucking seen. Oh, this is like one of the worst ones. Damn it! I can get some resources, though. <laughs> I mean, these are good for some rare resources, so that's nice and all, but it's like... Yeah, some extra eggs, which is cool. <laughs> So I might spend another ticket. I'm not going to get what I need on recording. It's not going to fucking happen. Mm. It's just not gonna happen. We're not going to see it. It's not going to happen. Because I want it. Everyone else that, you know. And I see there is the problem. You're uh, wanting it. You gotta not want it. You gotta not want it. Only then the game's RNG will spin it out. Thank <laughs> you. Decent resources, though. So. Because all three villagers have technically moved. At the and moment, without space, we're not really gonna find other villagers. So they can't even spawn. Coming out here is mostly for resources. And it's a really good way to get resources, so it's not like it's a complete waste and you can get some extra fossils and stuff, but what I wanted to show off would probably take a ton of miles tickets 
until I got the RNG I needed. And that's really, really unfortunate because the other islands I've been to, you can do the one trick, but the reason I wanted the specific bamboo focused one is because that has enough ground to do what I want to do. Also, for leaving, I might get a couple of wood eggs. Nice. I mean, these are lucrative for resources, and I'm not going to say that they're not. But it's just an annoying thing that RNG is just not generating what I need, which is starting to concern me that maybe they did remove those islands, but that's counterintuitive. Well, like I said, maybe not remove them, just like change their shape, so that the, you still get like the resources and stuff from those islands. It's just now you can't do the exploit because they're shaped uh, differently to make the exploit much harder. But the way that... It's like the bamboo island, it would still of course have bamboo on it. It's just now it would not... But I haven't even seen an island with... Like... About to go then. I mean, I got some coconuts and some wood eggs and stuff, so that's really good. <laughs> nice. And the extra wood is really, really nice. And because of that, we have, like, you know, some decent resources. It just bothers me that what I'm trying to show, normally the island I'm looking for, people get as their, like, third or fourth. I just haven't seen it. I mean, I got decent resources out of it, so I can keep on the failed attempts at getting what I need. I can sell off. And it's only two thousand for a milk tank, and we have you know decent. Yeah, but I'm trying to save money because once we won't be able to use it tomorrow, so you know, might as well. Yes, but in like. A couple of days, once Town Hall is built, all the good, expensive stuff takes miles to a point where you need, like, 40, 50,000 to get upgrades that I feel really should have been standard. <laughs> so... Oh, I like to yeah, sell the fruit. And the one weed. That's nice. And that's plenty of extra things. Because now it's past 7, so tarantulas will be out at random. But running into a tarantula out at random, especially if I don't see it, would really, really suck. I'm gonna drop stuff back in storage. And that one trick is to maximize the odds of the tarantulas you, like, 
you either find the island that's just full of them to a point where you can easily fill your inventory with those things, or you find basically an island where you pretty much um create a scenario to just get a bunch of tarantulas. Drop that for a minute. Hard. <laughs> because tarantulas running around, if I could get one running around and I could do that trapping trick. I could easily show that off, but getting one running around on the full island is random because the way Animal Crossing works, and this is why that exploit works the way it does, any bug or fish that has a chance of spawning is using a very limited pool of spawn potential, so... Every square of land has a chance of spawning a bug that can be on the ground. That includes tarantulas. So, the game rolls as you walk around if it's going to spawn something on the ground. Every flower that's around that can attract a bug, that's another roll. Every stump that attracts a bug, that's I, another I, roll. And this was one Every I, tree, that attracts another roll. The water counts as fish. That attracts. But there are certain types of bugs that exist on the water. water. And that was why I said to, you know, get some of the rare things like tarantulas or a few other bugs. People would gather stuff around their house and just go in and out of their house because the entering and exiting a screen does roll that RNG. Yeah, it does, but... So, if you know, you really... See, because that was, like, an atlas moth. Yeah, so, if you, like, if you really want to get something, cut a, like, stump or whatever by your uh, every, house for a bit and just keep Every going. second you go on and off of a screen... But something that I seem to remember worked in the older games, I'm not sure if it would still work, Lisa, but, like, timer, whenever you would go in a door, would be reset. It would, like, be reset, and that was why the going in and out worked. But I don't know if that You're loading. works anymore. And even then, I don't 100% remember how that worked in the older games. Loading so items mm. is going in and out can reset some RNG. But the problem, and this is what makes getting tarantulas legitimately so stupid, every inch of ground that is around has a chance of spawning the tarantula at this hour, but it's random because well, it's... That's, like, that's another thing, was it? And I think the older games did. Another use of it was the older games would prioritize the areas around the player, so I think that was part of the reason people would do it, but again, I don't fully they... remember... Because some of this could have been, like, old internet rumors that were believed for several years and then wasn't, like, exactly true. I don't remember a lot. There's a lot of, sort of, hmm. randomness. Because, essentially, what's going on with the RNG for the tarantula, every sort of second I walk around... And just sort of every second in general, the game is rolling in counter tables and looking like, does, you see you see that bug right there on the ground? That could be a tarantula. That could have been, but it didn't roll it. It rolled that thing. That's a really good example. It rolled that and not a tarantula. <laughs> and again, the hilarious thing is it like the game just happened to roll that after you left it. Yeah. The... That's why I said the going in and out. Because you're cheating. And I, like, I think... And I See, have, now there's a moth. And, and I, they, I think I would have to go look at old guides and stuff. In New Leaf, I seem to remember 
Nice. I think New Leaf was the one where the areas close to the player are where things would spawn more commonly. Because I seem to remember running in and out of Town Hall to find the tarantula in New Leaf. And I could get one the slower way if we literally just set up a you know, trap. Yeah, I was assuming that this ticket doesn't end up working as it might. Might not. Who knows? You have to not want it. Finally! Well, see, I told you, Bam and Boot. No, this is it! Oh. I can do the glitch now! Mm. Th that's perfect! I can do the exact thing I wanted to do. Mm. Which is. See? You just gotta not want it. Now, the unfortunate part about this, and I'm going. This is good and bad, but if this axe breaks, we're going to kind of be fucked, which is unfortunate. I should have reset an axe before coming here. But I can get a better shovel. Uh, let me see what makes it. Flimsy right, axe. Right. Three wood. And an iron... Nugget on stone. Flimsy is tree branches and a stone, so I can make but the one stone axe. You could, like if we had one more piece of wood, you could have upgraded it. But I need, I don't need the one axe. Hmm. I need this axe, not the stone one. Now hopefully, it doesn't break. It should at least exist for a few. Good chops because I've been using it a lot. Cause you've been using it to hit trees. No, not trees. You've been using it to hit um rocks. So I got exactly what I needed to do that spider trap. Now, hopefully, I don't lose this thing. So basically, I, I will probably lose it by the end of this. I should have, because we get what I need, but I'm going to probably lose my axe before I can completely demolish this place. Yep. I knew it. I get the island I need, and I don't have the resources I need to build. I don't have the resources I need, and that's a blunt axe. That doesn't... So it doesn't do anything against them? I can't You'll break... just tank off if you... Yeah, so I finally get the island I need, but... Hold on, what does it take to make a... Hold on, let's... Let's see what it takes to make a flimsy axe, because if I... Tree branch... Yeah. I don't believe I can get... Yeah, I'm basically... Because I don't think I can get tree branches off of these. So, of course, when I finally get it, I can't do the glitch, because... These don't give me tree branches! Of course. Of course. I... I I'm stuck! I knew that would happen! I knew that would happen! I... I hate this game. I finally get the goddamn island I need, but I can't show off what I want to do. Because I need to get rid of all of these. And flimsy axe. I, I can't get tree branches here. Because bamboo is a tree branches. Though, the one thing that is... Just call it a length, but like, at least some of the bamboo. Oh, I am pissed off. This is the island I need. But I can't do the glitch. Because I need to get rid of everything. Though the one thing that I did get out of this, this young bamboo only exists at this time of year, so that's kind of a net gain again. But of course 
can't find any key to the Luke Myers on the fucking island I'm looking for, but no, I don't have the axe. If I had brought my other... Because I need tree branches. Unless... No. Because, yeah, it's bamboo. It's not a tree. And I don't think the one guy... Wait, look. I thought... I don't believe he sells good tools. If he does, I will buy it, but... He sells the basic level tools. But that... Oh, he sells basic level, but... That wouldn't help, yeah. crazy. Because he only uh, seems uh, to be six! Uh, I can't on, do wait. this! Wait, uh, You have the stone axe. He does sell the flimsy... Fl I you can upgrade flimsy in... To a regular, what resources does it take to upgrade it into a regular wait, axe? Because wait, hold on. If you have the resources, you could buy a flint. Wait, I, wait a minute. Wait, hold on. I think you're right, actually. Never mind. Good. Uh, hold on, see what it takes. One wood. You're missing one standard wood. That, actually, so yeah, wait. Trick's back on. I can just... Hopefully, on this very limited tree... So, actually, yeah. Come on. Oh, perfect! See? Okay, trick's back on. Told you. Wait, yeah, because I can buy from hand. This so, I'm going to lose out on some rare bamboo, but this is far. You can take at least, like, one of both types. At least uh, just take one of both. Yeah, I might. Just so we can get... Wait, yeah, because I can just buy... So, never mind. Cool. Because I can show off the more... Now, flimsy axe. 100 miles. I mean, I told you. It... So, yeah, actually, I did have... So. If we ever come to these as a contingency, I might bring wood and... So now I can show off... Yeah, so okay. now you should be able to make that flimsy axe into... Yep, yeah. craftable. Nice. Perfect. Go back, back to the glitch, because now we've got a full axe. So I might take regular, because essentially what we are going to do I think it, I was going to say, I think due to the area of the Oh wait, no, that's the yeah. That was the stone axe Oh, but it does give you the man food which is kind of funny Finally got the goddamn island I needed. So, this island, basically, what we are about to do, and this does involve sacrificing very rare resources, and young bamboo only exists at this time of year, so I might collect one thing of young bamboo, like, okay, hold on, bamboo can be stacked. So, I might stack some young bamboo and not go full. I, I would at least uh, get some of both, so that we at least have both, and it can be stacked. So, having, like, potentially a full stack of both. Eh, and I... So I can claim some rare bamboo, show off the a lower version of the spider trick. So essentially, what? Okay, how much is it? It seems like. Oh, it keeps sagging. Huh, so you actually might be able to take this entire thing of like bamboo back then, if they stack up to like thirty or something. Well, this will give people a basic idea of the spider trick, and we'll claim some rare bamboo. So, yeah, it might be 30, meaning I might be able to actually salvage a full grouping of the rare bamboo before the month ends, since that's a rare, rare material. And I can just count the... So, 
Essentially, and I'm about to dig up, like, all of the... Okay, it's stacks of 30. It's like the wood. Mm. So, I'll drop... So, I'll keep the stacks of 30. Then, any extra will be sacrificed for the greater good here. And, mm. I'll... So, yeah. So, when I come to these islands, I might get a little bit of wood before coming... Because you can buy the flimsy tool. Well, actually, if, as long as I have extra miles, because I can buy flimsy you, you tool. You just uh, finish this off with flim. Um, you can I, just finish this off with the flimsy shovel if you need to. No, I already made a better shovel because I knew I would do a lot of digging. No, that's why I freshly upgraded it because what we. So, to explain what the hell I'm doing. And why you do this on this island? <laughs> Everything on this island is basically flat ground with no river. Or elevation. Yeah, which is exactly why... It is 100% a flat pot of land. And if I need to, I will spend miles on a flimsy shovel. <laughs> but I should have enough shovel to do what I basically need. So, like, we're going to absolutely destroy this place <laughs> at the cost of some extra miles, specifically, yeah, so, get bamboo stacks in. Maybe. Grabbing some weeds. So, essentially, in order to do this trick, since I could actually buy, because I wanted to show this off, because one, this will get me a tarantula, and two, this will show a really busted trick, and I might keep some of the bamboo then, just because. So, essentially what you're doing, every area of land can be a tarantula. So, by making the land only flat ground, you're removing the odds of getting anything but a tarantula and a couple of other small things. And if my shovel breaks, I don't care. I can buy a flimsy shovel and definitely finish this off. And the idea is to also kind of clear out the weeds. And also it's recommended to destroy the flowers. Because dead flowers don't count for... Um... Spawns. So by doing this, like a madman... Those flowers are now worthless. And the worthless flowers are going to be perfect for no bug spawn. This is why people come here. Also, my phone is going nuts. Hold on. It's time for the question of the day, my overall thoughts on the topic. So, anyway, how do you all feel about the upcoming update and DLC for Animal Crossing? The questions I record are recorded long after the part, so this question is being recorded after the announcement for the final major free update and the DLC. The free update is amazing because it fixes a lot of the common problems with the game. I also think the DLC is Pretty nice considering that they more or less converted Happy Home Designer into a DLC expansion on a mainline Animal Crossing game. Meaning a lot of people that liked Happy Home Designer can use the added design features to create some really unique things because you can carry those over into the main game and start redesigning your house. And I think that's nice. I also think the DLC is decently priced. 
And to be fair, it is a whole extra game's worth of content. So it's basically about half the price of the main retail game. And it is technically all optional because all they add is the ability to design your house using the design features. And they hinted that you can use the design features to redesign your villagers' houses on the mainland. And I think that's great, while the bulk of the update is that free major update that fixes problems people had with the game. Overall, I think this was a really good update, and I'm really hyped for it, so I wanted to know if any of you are hyped. You can leave your thoughts, opinions, and answers in the comments, or you can leave them on social media. All of my social media links, as well as my Discord link, are in the video description. Now, as always, I need to be a shill for a minute if you subscribe to the channel, and if you follow me on social media, that really helps our communities grow. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I will see you all next time, so good night, everybody.